Hi everybody, I'm Natalie with Missouri Star Quilt Company and today on Embroidery 101 we're going to learn the split stitch. This is a great basic stitch for outlining things. It's similar to your um, stem stitch but instead of coming up next to your stitch you're going to come right through the middle of it. All right, so let's get started. We're going to come from the back. We'll make our initial stitch to get started. Then we're going to go forward and on going back we'll go right through the middle of that previous set of threads. So this is super great for curves. It's very seamless. It looks a little bit woven, kind of like a braid almost if you look closely at it. I just love it. I think it's a great stitch. It's very easy to correct if you get a little crooked because you're connecting the threads right in the middle of the threads um, that you just stitched down. So it's very seamless. All right. So let's head over to the hoop and I'll show you this stitch a little bit closer. All right, so we are just going to continue coming up from the back and sticking our needle right in the middle of our threads to create to split them and create this split stem stitch. Now I never worry too much whoops, about whether I'm exactly in between or have the exact number of threads on either side. You're just kind of jamming it in there and it looks great. This makes a great filler stitch as well. So if you wanted to make your stitches farther apart and create a look on a, on like an animal that kind of looked like fur when they um, intersect like this, it looks really cool. I'll have to show that on a project maybe. All right, so. And to end that, you're just going to put a knot in it. If you want your, your last stitch to, um, to have that split in it, you're gonna wanna come back up right near the edge and then create that last split. And then you can knot it so that it looks just like all the rest of it's, um, just like the rest of the line. And then you can do this in the opposite direction as well. So we'll do a few of those here. Slippery. There we go. And that's it. It's pretty simple to do. And I think it gives a really nice line for um, outlines, things like monograms or um, any edging that you want to do. I just think it looks really pretty. Whoops. All right. So we're going to go back through here. And I'm going to go ahead and come right back up next to this edge. There we go. And split this last bit here. 
and then I'm going to put a knot in it. And that's it. That's your split stitch. So again, split stitch is great for outlines, for monograms. I have a cute little project to show you here. Rachel made this one with her R and it's so cute. We have these downloadable letters on our landing page so you can just print out whichever letter you want and monogram away. It's super fun. I love them. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on the split stitch from Missouri Star Quilt Company.